Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to talk about something really interesting within Magma. A lot of digital artists really fear having a blank canvas because we feel lost where to start. So we're going to look into the shape tool to help us brainstorm some concepts. On your toolbar, you will see a square and a circle. And you would think, hmm, you know, that's not very exciting at all. But if you click on the star icon, you can see other basic shapes like stars, hearts, and arrows. And if you scroll further down, you will notice a lot of really interesting looking icon. So we're going to start concepting using these fancy shapes. Let's start by erasing this whole canvas. We will select the eraser tool and we will increase the size by dragging on the bar on the right and just erase everything. We're going to use the paint bucket tool to lay down a base color. I have selected a red, because why not? And then let's go back to the shape tool. And now I'm going to lay down some darker color. Maybe we'll have very distant, large shape in the background. And then Let's scroll down. Hmm, this lo building looks very interesting. And using the same dark shape, we're going to lay out a large building. And let's see what other shapes we can add. Maybe this one. Interesting. Look like pretty industrial looking already landscape, right? Maybe add a little bit of rocks here and there. And I think I saw a pathway that I feel like might be... Oh, there it is. I'm going to use the pathway. Aha! That's fun. And how about a very isolated human walking on this plane alone? <laughs> Pretty cool. But you know, we, we gotta add some greens or maybe not so greens. There are some trees over here, so I'm just going to, you know, add them as the foreground. Hmm, maybe not this one. I don't really like the look of it. But that's the cool thing about digital art, isn't it? You can simply go to the top and hit undo. Like this one, it looks skinnier. I'll use the same white color and maybe this size, like a further away tree. Okay. A larger tree front. Let's try another one. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> It's already looking pretty great. Let's see what other things we can add at the front. Maybe this? What is this? Oh. Okay, that's really taking shape. And just like that, you can use this as a base to brainstorm some ideas or compositions. And then you can always add another layer by clicking on the layer menu and just paint right on top of it. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you have some fun exploring all of the different shapes that are available to you in Magma. And have some fun, experiment, fear, never fear of doing it wrong. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.